Hello, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'll show you how to use Plex to cast your music to your Google Home like this. Or cast your videos or music to Chromecast like this. The Plex features that I'll show you today are free and do not require a paid Plex subscription. And if you stick around till the end of this video, I have some exciting news from Plex for everyone on Plex, free or paid. Now let's get started. Now what is Plex? I've always said that Plex Media Server is a way for you to enjoy your content, music, videos photos on a server that you set up yourself. And that's true. But today Plex is changing that so that you can enjoy full length movies, web shows, podcasts for free through their ad supported model. But more about that at the end of this video. And before I get too deep into this, I'd love to hear from you on ideas for future Plex videos. What would you like to know? What tutorials can I provide or areas I could explore with Plex? Please let me know in the comments below this video. Thank you. This video is sponsored by Plex. Thank you Plex for sponsoring this video. Now I've covered Plex on my channel before and in a previous video, I set up this MyCloud NAS device as my Plex media server. If you missed that video, I will link to it below. You can also set up Plex on a Windows or Mac computer. This video assumes that you've already set up your Plex media server with your movies and music. Now, if you haven't done that already, please go to Plex.tv and install from there. You can use your home computer as your Plex media server. And I have actually covered that entire process setting up on a laptop or a desktop in a previous video, which I will link to below. The prerequisites for this video are number one, your Plex media server is set up online running on. Number two, your Chromecast is plugged into your TV and power source and connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Plex media server. Number three, your mobile device is also on the same Wi-Fi network as your Chromecast. And number four, your TV input is set to whichever HDMI port your Chromecast is plugged into in the back of your TV. Now let me start a screen record. Now let's download the Plex app from the App Store or Google Play Store. You can uh, do this on your smartphone or your tablet. And I'll just type in Plex. And I've already downloaded the Plex app on my phone, so I'm just going to hit open and the Plex app will open. Next, I'll log in with my login and password that I set up with Plex. Great, we're in. First, I'll hit the cast button near the top right corner and select my Chromecast. Next, I'll navigate to the video that I want to play and here we go. And here we go. I can move the slider to get to the part of the video that I want to get to. I can move forward, I can move backwards, I can hop ahead by 30 seconds or go back by 10 seconds. Essentially, my phone is now the remote for my Chromecast. And I can hit pause too. Now I'm gonna hit X to stop the video. Now let's say I want to play music, I'll navigate to a song that I want to play. And then let's say I'm moving to another room and I want to continue listening to that song on my Google Home. Easy as can be, I will just simply select Office Speaker, which is my Google Home. And I can continue listening to that song on Google Home. Now if I want to stop it, I can hit pause on my phone or I can just tap the top of my Google Home. Now let me put this back up to casting on my Chromecast and select Chromecast. And as I said at the beginning of the video, the features that I'll cover in this video are all free. And specifically, content that you can cast to Chromecast includes movies, home movies, music, podcasts, and recorded TV episodes. 
When I say TV, if you have a Plex Pass, which is a paid subscription from Plex, and you record live TV into a folder, you can cast your recorded TV shows onto Chromecast. As an example, I recorded a news broadcast. I know, not exactly the most exciting thing to DVR, but as a demo for you, I can now cast this recorded TV episode to my Chromecast from Plex. And I will go to TV, and I'll go to my news broadcast, hit play, and you should see it come right up on my Chromecast. And you can see the news broadcast now playing on my Chromecast. This is recorded TV and it works great. And I will stop the casting. Troubleshooting. Now, if you don't see your Google Home or Chromecast, when you hit that cast icon in the top right corner, there are a couple of things that you should check. Number one, your phone and your Chromecast need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. If I'm on a different Wi-Fi network, I can't see my Chromecast. You can check this by going to the Google Home app on your smartphone and then looking for your office speaker. That's my Google Home here. And then hitting the settings button in the top right corner and then scrolling down until you see the Wi-Fi network. And there we go. That's how you can see what network it's on. Then I recommend going to your settings and seeing which Wi-Fi network you're on on your phone and making sure they're on the same Wi-Fi network. If all else fails, you can always try power cycling your Chromecast, which I have done as well. Now for the good stuff. I'm excited to announce that Plex is now offering full length movies and some TV shows for free right from their existing app. How are they able to do this? First of all, it's an ad supported model, which means that you'll probably have to watch a commercial or two to get to the content. Secondly, the folks at Plex have negotiated agreements with Lionsgate, MGM, Warner Brothers, and more, and that content is what you will see right here. Now let me show you how this works. So from my Plex app, I am going to go to the menu and then under Plex, there's something called Movies and TV. I'll select Movies and TV, and sure enough, I'll see a variety of movies and TV that are available for me to watch through these partnership agreements. Now, since this is a video about casting to your Chromecast, let's cast something to my Chromecast here. So I've selected my Chromecast right here, and then I will select a movie to watch. Let's choose the right stuff, hit that, hit play, and you should uh, see first probably a commercial and then the movie adds the right stuff. And here's the ad that plays. Awesome, it works. I'm gonna stop that. Now I'm in the US and I'm showing you a snapshot of what is available here at the time I recorded this video. Plex is constantly adding new content based on their partnership agreements. This might be different by the time you try it out. For my international viewers, yes, this is available globally, but the content will vary depending on your country. Now, this is true for any video on demand service, paid or free, and not just specific to Plex. Another question that I saw was, does this mean that ads will now play on the movies that I own? Absolutely not. Your content is still your content and totally ad free. Only if you go into Plex movies and TV will you see these commercials. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on Plex Media Server and casting to your Chromecast and Google Home. Thank you Plex for sponsoring this video. As I said earlier, if you have ideas on new Plex tutorials that I could cover in future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.